This is a big one. Welcome back, Woodlovers. Today is a very special day. We've got a director of photography in the house, Will Killen, hair and makeup, Ted. Today we are looking at Dalberger Negra. That's right. Brazilian rosewood, one of the most sought after, fantastically wonderful timbers. And I have a big stack to show you here. Okay. All right. So Brazilian rosewood, perhaps somewhat controversial because it is endangered. There is less than 5% of the original coverage of this in Brazil. It has been on Appendix 1 of CITES, which is the Convention on International Trade of Endangered Species um, since 1991. That completely bans trade uh, of Brazilian rosewood, unless it has all the relevant paperwork. This stands alone on, on Appendix 1. The rest of the Dalbergia species, you know, your Madagascar rosewood, the Indian rosewood, Coca Bolo, these kind of things, they're on Appendix 2. Interestingly, when I was doing my research, the essential oils from Brazilian rosewood were used in the very first Chanel Number no. 5 perfume. Okay, so I have lots of different sets here. These pieces of wood, along with their paperwork, they've been passed from different luthiers workshops. They've, in a lot of cases, these sets were covered in dust, were completely oxidized. I didn't really know exactly what I bought until I ran them through the sander. And it's such a varied and beautiful timber. So traditionally, rosewood was cut by hand by guys with chainsaws, and they would literally come at waist height and cut the tree down when the timber was in plentiful supply. And we'd end up with all these beautiful straight grained rosewood boards. When the supply started to dry up, um, when restrictions started to become come into place, um, people who were uh, buying and selling and trading rosewoods went back into the forest and started to look at the stump wood. Um, you know, there was still a lot of usable timber left standing, um, left in the ground, and started to dig it out and saw it up into boards. And as a result, what you see a lot of today is this, is this kind of thing where you can actually picture how the, the, the trunk of tree was flaring out and, and down into the ground. So loads of kind of visual interest on these. These boards tend to be a little bit less stable, um, but still, if they're braced in the, in the correct way, um, you, you, know, you have nothing, nothing really to worry about. So in terms of the properties, uh, it's 2,790 to be precise on the Janka scale. Um, so to give you some context, lignum vitae, which is, I believe is the hardest wood on the planet, comes in at 4,380. Um, genuine mahogany, Honduras mahogany, um, comes in at around 900 pounds force. It's pretty hard, it's pretty dense. And why is it so good for making guitars? Or why have people been using Brazilian rosewood for guitars since guitars were essentially invented? Part of the reason is the just immense visual beauty. It's such an attractive timber. There's just so much going on with it, but it's very, very brittle. Um, it's very dense and there is low internal damping, there's low internal friction. So the sound waves can travel unimpeded through the boards. Anyway, let's have a look at a couple of other sets. This one is like a beautiful, almost like tanned leather. It's quite a pale set, kind of like a medium, a medium brown. This one here, on the other hand, is like wild kind of brick red. And you can hear, like, this is really plate glass-like. We've got a kind of terracotta brick red. And this set is super cool. I ran this through the sander this morning, and what I love about this is you've got this almost like green, uh, phosphorescent um, kind of aura, like, it almost reminds me of the Northern Lights, like the, the auras that you get. It's this kind of like ghostly, ethereal kind of green hue that's running all the way through this kind of resinous area here. Really, really beautiful. Um, this set incidentally is going to be made into a Model S for our very dear friend, Tony Policastro, the biggest gu guitar geek on the planet. Go, go check out Tony. Hey Tony. This one, again, this is, um, this is like a really dark chocolate. Absolutely love that. So you want to hear it, right? Everyone wants to hear it. 
And uh, on this episode of Tommy's Tonewood, for the first time, we're gonna be using an Aston microphone. This is the Starlight. Oh yeah, there's a laser pointer on here as well. So we're gonna have, um, so, so we can, it's pointed right, I'm gonna try not to blind myself here. It's pointed right into my ear hole. So we know exactly where the, where the microphone is pointing every time we do one of these videos. All right, so I've uh, successfully managed to get all of these sets of wood confused, but this is what we're all here for. It's the magic moment where we, we get to listen and, and enjoy the majesty of the Brazilian rosewood. This is a super brittle set. I feel like it's almost gonna split apart in my hands. Here we go. Now I'm gonna hold it in my preferred spot, which is about there. I mean, it's just so musical and bell-like and wonderful. I love this stuff. Use Tommy's Turnwood mallet. I'm calling you guys to church. Amazing. Beautiful, really beautiful stuff. The second thing that we're all really, really looking forward to is the magic spray. Huh? Uh, I'm still, my sniper is uh, still trying to kill me here. Let's just turn this guy off and, and move him out of the way a little bit. We're gonna go with uh, this really wild um, set here. This is pretty special. It's just the most beautiful shade of brown. It's amazing. It's so, it's so deep and chocolatey and delicious. Like, I just wanna put that on a plate and serve it in a fancy restaurant. Isn't that amazing? Ted? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the Ted seal of approval. Amazing. It's just like, as soon as you kind of wet this out, um, and we're mimicking what would happen when we, when we put lacquer on this guitar. It just really brings out all of the depth of color and character. There's some really lovely oranges, some reds. I'm seeing even some greens. And of course, those really dark, black, inky lines. I really hope that I can, I can keep some of this beautiful sapwood uh, in the guitar as well when I come time to build with it. So there we go, there is some Brazilian rosewood. I've been waiting for a little while to do this video. I've pulled together some really lovely examples. Let me know what you think about Brazilian rosewood. So until next time.